Okay, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to design some headed note paper or business letter ed. We're going to use Scribus, so first we need to open the Scribus software. When you open Scribus, you will be presented with a page like this. Choose single page and OK. The two elements we're going to be dealing with today are a text box and a picture frame. You cannot type directly into the page. You need to use a text box to type any text that you want and a picture frame to add any pictures that you may need. So to help us with spacing I am going to put some grid lines on the page. To do this you right click an empty area of the page, scroll down and click on show grid. Next we need to put some text boxes in so if we go over here And we drag in one for the name and click on this again and we will drag another text box in for what we actually do another one for the address and then two more one will be the date and another the email address. Okay now to place text inside these frames you use a thing called the story editor and to do that you right click on the empty frame and then from the drop down menu choose edit text and the story editor opens. So in here type your name. If you want to do any work on text in the story editor you first need to highlight the text. I'm then going to click the centerize button which centerizes the text in the story editor and when I click this which is the update button the text will appear centerized in the text frame. So I'm going to click the update button and as you can see the text has now appeared. So any text that you want to enter into a frame, you use this text editor. This is the save and close button. So if we click this tick, the story editor closes and the text is saved. I now want to do some work on this text. I want to format the text. So I'm going to use the style menu. First of all, I'm going to choose a font. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to click on the style again and increase the size. I'm going back to the, I need to select the text frame, go back to the style menu and choose a colour. Blue because that's going to be the theme of this letterhead. Next is to put some text into this one, so again it's right click, edit text to bring up the text editor. I already have some text on the clipboard so I can just click the paste button and the text will appear in the editor. I'm going to highlight it, centerize it and I'm going to click this to save it. I'm going back to the style menu, font and change it to italic back to the style menu again and change the size to 24 points and back one more time to change the color i am now going to do this for the remaining three boxes but i'm going to pause the video while i do this as youtube only allows us a 10 minute video so I'll pause while I enter the other information in the other text frames. 
okay as you can see I've typed the information into the frames but it still needs formatting can you see there's a little X there and one on this frame that means there's a text overflow the text is not fitting inside the frame so I need to click on the text and choose the style button again choose size if I'm going to choose 11 points and it still doesn't quite fit right so I'm going to drag the box out and there we see the address and telephone number I move it up I'm going to do the same with the email address and that just appears in the box OK and I'm going to change the size of the date just going to space those out a little you notice that between the two blue margin lines I'm now going to click file scroll down to print preview and that's what your letterhead would look like without any icon or anything else in it close I'm now going to put a picture in there for this we need the picture frame so you click on this button here drag in a picture frame right click scroll down to get image this window will then open you may need to scroll um, to browse rather to where your photos are stored and then in the left plane you will see the name and if you click on the name on the right you will see the picture icon and then just find the one that you want I'm going to use this one and then click on the open button and it will appear inside the image frame if the image doesn't fit inside the frame you can right click choose properties image and scale to fit frame now I'm going back and print file print preview and that's what it will look like with a picture icon in I'm sure you grasp the idea so you can do a bit better spacing than I've done here and have some great fun designing your own letterheads or headed note paper once they are designed you need to click file save as otherwise you will lose your work save them to a folder I suggest my documents name it click save and that's all you need to do they are then ready for printing off that's the end of this tutorial thanks for watching